Many patients present to me with ovulation problems. This occurs in about 20% of the infertile population. Now it's not that they don't have eggs. If you have no eggs, that's called the menopause. They have eggs, but they're not released properly. There are many causes for ovulation problems, but the most common one is polycystic ovarian syndrome. There are other co common causes too. Sometimes it's the pituitary gland that's a problem. Sometimes it's the ovary that's a problem. Or sometimes it's simply a matter of the hormones being unbalanced. Whatever the cause of ovulation problems, the good news is that the pregnancy rate is very high after treatment. I have been running an ovulation induction clinic for over 30 years and I've dealt with the vast majority of these problems. And the treatment is usually quite simple. The first treatment could be simply a lifestyle change. Some women don't ovulate because they're too thin. Their BMI is less than 20. Some women don't ovulate because their BMI is too high, like over 28. A simple lifestyle change although losing weight is never simple, simple lifestyle change can change this so that you would need no medication whatsoever. If you, however, do need medication, the first medication we would use would be tablets. And these are very successful in most cases. However, these are potent medications and monitoring is essential. If the tablets aren't successful in, in releasing the eggs for you, then we use uh, FSH injections. FSH is a natural hormone, but we give it in a slightly higher dose to encourage your ovaries to release the eggs that are already there. Again, they're potent medications and need monitoring using blood tests and ultrasound. As with any medication, there are risks, and the biggest risk using the FSH medication is ovarian hyperstimulation but that only occurs in 1%. A commoner uh, risk is multiple pregnancy, and there is no way we can absolutely guarantee only one baby, but when the treatment is monitored carefully, uh, we can uh, reduce the risk of multiple pregnancy. The risk of twins in this case is about 20%. The risk of triplets is about 3%. So whatever the problem is that causes you not to release eggs. Don't give up because there is a great hope and not only that, the pregnancy rate is excellent and over 90% of patients who have ovulation problems and who are under 40 do get pregnant. <music>